Uh, good evening. It's eight o'clock, and uh, welcome to today's episode of Marvelous Medicine. As you all know, we have been we have started a series within the series, if you may, called Beyond Medicine, uh, which is about all non-medical topics, and we try to highlight the non-medical activities of uh, our doctor colleagues. But today's is called Art Attack, and uh, as you would have seen in the flyer. We have four um, doctor painters whom we have uh, brought to you and they will be discussing about uh, how they got into this art form and uh, how they manage their time and uh, various other things. So before a uh, quick introduction, uh, Dr. Maya Bhalerao, she's a consultant anesthesiologist at uh, Bhalerao ENT Hospital in Pimpri Chinchwad in uh, Maharashtra. And she's also the owner of an art gallery called Ranga Brahmanti. Uh, Dr. Maya did her MBPS from Government Medical College, Nagpur, and her MD Anesthesia from Lokmanya Tilak Municipal Medical College and Sion Hospital, uh, Mumbai. Her, uh, she has a whole lot of achievements. She's the past president of the Society of Anesthesiologists of uh, uh, Pimpri Chinchwad. Uh, uh, she's also the president elect of the Indian Medical Association of uh, Pimpri Chinchwad Brand. She's the founder editor of uh, uh, Indian Medical Association uh, Pimpri Chinchwad Branch Bulletin. She is the founder of the Women's Wing uh, of the IMA for Pimpri Chinchwad Branch, and uh, the uh, the list goes on. Uh, she's uh, received uh, um, a proficiency award and uh, you know several other awards from both Indian Society of Anesthesiology and Indian Medical Association Maharashtra Branch. So coming to today's topic, her uh, hobby she's basically a watercolor artist. She has held three solo exhibitions and has uh, participated in six group exhibitions. She recently displayed her uh, work, uh, I mean, 108 paintings actually, uh, and donated all the proceedings to charity. Uh, she, um, and uh, the exhibition was in Italy. She's the administrator of the Fabriano Watercolor uh, Facebook group and also an associated member of. Japan International Watercolor Institute. Uh, another day, we will talk about Dr. Maya's uh, travel. Uh, she has been to both the Arctic and the Un uh, Antarctic and uh, and written a travelogue uh, called Dhruva Brahmanti. It has been translated to in Braille in Marathi. Uh, on the uh, professional side, she has, uh, you know, uh, put together CPR booklets and uh, booklets on awareness and uh, to increase awareness of anesthesia in the general public. And so we are, uh, this, uh, we, I have been trying to get Dr. Maya for maybe more than six months uh, now with all her busy schedule, both in uh, practice, uh, painting and uh, uh, association activities. She uh, found the time to join us today. So thank you so much, Dr. Maya, and uh, welcome to Marvelous Medicine. Thanks. Uh, the second elusive person is uh, Dr. Srividya Venkatraman, uh, another person who been whom I've been trying to rope in or something or the other keeps happening. So today, finally, we've got uh, two busy people on board. Uh, Srividya is the consultant physician at MGM Hospital, Chennai. She did her MBBS and MD from Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Medical Sciences. She's an avid trekker and has been to the Everest Base Camp. In fact, uh, recently she returned from another trek in Nepal. She's an eloquent speaker and her non-clinical interests include uh, corporate health management and health investment. Uh, in her own words, uh, she's uh, art is her passion and uh, she's, I know that she has participated in several art exhibitions. Um, thank you, Vidya, for uh, uh, joining us despite uh, some family issues. Uh, next on board is Dr. Namrata Biswa. She's the head of the Department of Anesthesia at Manipal Hospital, Kolkata. Her MBBS from Lady Hardy Medical College and MD Anesthesia from Maulana Azhar Medical College, Delhi. Painting and writing are her passions. She paints in all mediums and has held many solo and group exhibitions across many cities in India. We are indeed uh, very fortunate to have such accomplished people in our midst today. Last but not the least is the baby of this team, uh, Dr. Ravina. She is a postgraduate in anesthesiology at Sri Muttugumaran Medical College and Research Institute, uh, Tamil Nadu. Uh, Ravina did her MBBS from Meenakshi Medical College and Research Institute, Kanjibaram. She is interested in portrait sketching, painting, caricature, comic art, calligraphy, and other artworks, and for which she has uh, received prizes. 
in addition to having delivered lectures on medical topics, she has been an invited speaker on women empowerment, suicide prevention, and road safety. Socially responsible young lady and has conducted three medical camps for sanitary workers in Kanjipuram municipality and interacts with and counsels adolescent, uh, adolescents regarding their emotional and behavioral problems. So, um, uh, with this, uh, let's uh, set the ball rolling for today. And um, my first question uh, to Dr. Maya is, uh, when did you start painting? Was it a childhood hobby or uh, something you picked up along the way? Yes, thank you, Madam, for nice uh, and wonderful introduction. Thank you so much. And thank you for giving us the opportunity to on this prestigious platform. Yes, the painting I started in 2014 when my daughter was uh, and 12th standard, I wanted to give a company while she was studying. And that time I did some uh, copy paintings. Uh, but the copy paintings, I had not learned anything. So uh, it gave me a great art block and I stopped doing painting that time in 2014. Then later on, again, that my hidden talent, I wanted to uh, explore again. And since 2019, uh, there was a story behind it. I will let you know the story. Uh, when we'll have a, a presentation. presentation. Since 2019, I'm doing regular uh, watercolor painting, maybe half an hour a day or maybe one hour a day, depending on the time I get. So uh, since four, five years, I would say I'm doing uh, watercolor paintings. So uh, to this gathering where many of us are on the <laughs> wrong side of the Here is Ashok, uh, sorry. Uh, it's... it's, uh, it's uh, a wonderful thing that uh, you know you can actually start uh, 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 you know start something new even after uh, you're an adult it doesn't necessarily have to be as a child so i would like to uh, tell all those who are other than the panelists we will get to you uh, once the four of them have finished talking we'll have enough time for uh, audience interaction you can have your comments you can um, you know ask your questions everything so initially we will just let these four ladies have their say so, uh, so Ravina, uh, Ravina, what was your motivation in, uh, uh, you know, taking up something, uh, taking up art? Uh, as a postgraduate, I don't remember having time to even sleep, uh, and especially those days we had ether and halothen and all that. So when I came back uh, to my hostel room, all I could do was just curl up and then uh, wake up next morning and then groggily go to. So I am terribly impressed that while being a postgraduate, you are able to. Uh, follow your passion. Uh, uh, so, what motivates you, Ravina? Uh, yeah, can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, Radha Krishna, if you don't mind, can you just pin the four panelists so that they will be on the visible on the screen? Go ahead, Ravina. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, first and foremost, for giving a beautiful introduction to the crowd of me. And I'm extremely grateful to be in, in this meeting. Uh, Ravina, if you uh, have a mic, you need to go closer to it. Uh, your voice yeah, is. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, uh, yes, uh, post graduation, of course, is very, very tough for me right now. Uh, I think the art is a, is a kind of uh, escape, you know, escaping the mechanism that I use it uh, to, you know, uh, control myself, to control my soul. and you know, kind of calm myself in various situations whenever I think depressed. Uh, not only in my post-graduation I use this, I think from my uh, kindergarten I keep doing this. So it's been, a, you know, a habit. Whenever I feel low, whenever I feel happy, I go connect with art. So that, that is what I'm doing. From the small of my, you know, from my childhood, I keep doing it. So not new when I come to my post graduation. This is not the habit that I, you know, cultivated now. It's from the beginning. So it's wonderful that you can continue with your, uh, you know, uh, uh, passion which you started very early in childhood. Uh, Sri Vidya, how do you manage time, especially in private setup? Uh, even if you're, even after you have become senior, like yesterday, Namrata is head of the department, but at eight o'clock she was in the operating room. Uh, who will believe? Like everyone thinks that we are having, you know, your what plus fifty head of department. You must be having a full time. That's not how it works. So, uh, how do you practice? It certainly does Also, uh, trekking also included. Uh, Shri Vidya, how do you manage time? So I wake up at four in the morning, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, I 
because it's dark at that time and there is some natural like we live in chennai you know so most of the time it is daytime and a very good weather in the morning so i have made a nice studio effect in my one corner of my apartment and uh, i paint for an hour every day because i realize that any art any art form needs to have that type of a uh, time you need to give that dedication to it for it to become a passion profession a parallel profession because i hated it being called as a hobby you know when when i tell people that i paint and they say oh wow you have a lovely hobby and i just don't look back on them and i walk away because i don't think it is just an hobby i think it's more of a passion and literally i have been in the last 4 years though i am not as good as dr maya i mean i've seen dr maya is amazing really lovely to be meet you ma'am and she is my younger sister senior and this whole uh, flyer has come back to me some 10 times with you i mean you know do you realize your reach it has come back to me 10 times today and say wow we are looking forward to seeing you there so yeah so i wake up at 4 in the morning and i paint for an hour then i get out and go either for my run or a workout for an hour and then i come back and i hit the road at 8 o'clock to be in the hospital by 9 because i know one thing whatever time i go in i don't know what time i'm going to get out so it's the best time to do it is in the morning if i'm able to get out of the hospital by like 6 i'm lucky then i will probably plan my next day sketch or whatever and uh, watercolor is a medium which i'm doing now but that's not what i started out with so i will definitely go through that details when we do the presentation wow. but watercolor is not a very forgiving medium right dr maya it's, it's <laughs> yes yes it's absolutely absolutely but so, of so, course uh, you can so master the, moral it. Of the story Shri Vidya, is that uh, you know uh, uh, you you need to take your other interest seriously so i will just repeat something that i posted on facebook uh, when my professor mentor teacher guide uh, dr kangle who was head of the department of anesthesia retired uh, just before i finished my post graduation and left pondicherry Give me this one piece of advice, Vidya. You should have one serious second interest which you follow with as much diligence as you do with anesthesia. And uh, like I always say, I'm guilty of not having followed that. Uh, but I understand what you mean. It should not just be a hobby. It should be. And the other thing you said, which I really uh, can relate to, is that if you want, if you have to do something, get it done first thing in the morning. Like if I don't do my morning walk, it never happens because. I, I'll always say, you know, I'll come back in the evening, then I'll walk or I'll go to the gym in the afternoon and all that, nothing happens. You get up, you do what you have to do and then go to work. Like my mom says, we are all like, uh, you know, Abhimanyus, we only know how to enter the Chakrabhiya, we don't know how to come out of the hospital. So, um, thank you for those tips. Uh, uh, Namrata, well, how, do you get, uh, do you need or do you get uh, family support to uh, make time for your uh, uh, passion? Even uh, support from colleagues, because if you have to do an exhibition, you have to travel and all, you know, others have to adjust, isn't it? So how does that work? Yeah, my colleagues are, colleagues are very helpful because uh, all the exhibitions I've done, uh, somebody or the other covers up for me. As for family, my daughter is as much into painting. So usually we both do the exhibitions together. My daughter and me both do the exhibitions together, especially in Bombay and Pune and all where I've traveled. She's traveled with me. In Kolkata, it is not that difficult to do the, the exhibitions. And now she's in college, so it's easier for me to find time to do it. When she was doing exams, actually, I used to just sketch. I never did uh, bigger uh, acrylic paintings or not. So I only do that when she's free, basically, so that I get time to do the acrylic paintings. How, how important is spousal support in all this? Or your uh, uh, adopted family, like, you know? Yeah, I think it's very important actually, but then uh, in India, it's not difficult to get maids and support system and uh, other people are also helping. So, and especially if your work, if they see the work and you are really uh, passionate about it, they do help. So I've never had any problem with the family or extended family or even my colleagues uh, supporting my work. I've never had any problem. That, that's very wonderful to know. And I'm sure that we act as a uh, you know, uh, motivation for others who are listening in, both young and old. Uh, many times you uh, hear about, you know, sculptures and other things like, you know, people need a muse or someone needs some inspiration to actually 
uh, 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 produce a work of art. So I'd like all four of you to answer this question one by one. Like uh, Dr. Maya, what is your inspiration? This is a, sorry. What is your inspiration for creating? A yeah, yeah, my inspiration. Yeah, my inspiration is my travel. I have traveled to many places and the landscapes, beautiful landscapes over there. Uh, that is my inspiration. Wherever I go, uh, go I uh, capture the beauty in my lens and then I reciprocate on my paper. So that is the nature is my inspiration. I am not into portrait. I would like to paint the trees, the leaves, the beautiful nature, the sea, the river. So that's my inspiration uh, to paint, basically. And watercolor is about basically mainly into the landscape. So uh, I like to do uh, painting in the watercolor only. So nature is my inspiration. And of course, my husband, uh, Dr. Sudhir Bhalera and my daughter, both of them, they are so encouraging. They are so inspiring. They give me encouragement and that is my inspiration. So family matters a lot in that case because if family support is not there, then it is very difficult to perceive your passion. So family and the nature, both of them, they are my inspiration. I will direct the question once again to you. How do you manage your time? You are doing anesthesia. And I, I, you, pro, you own a gallery. Uh, you are holding uh, official positions in IMA, ISA. Like, uh, do you have forty-eight hours in your day? I mean, I don't know how you do it. Very true, ma'am. But if passion, if it is in the heart, then you find time. You take out time. You squeeze time in your busy schedule. I, as Shri Vidya has told, I get up early in the morning, maybe four thirty-five or maybe five, and then uh, I do whatever. The first thing is I pick up my brush and ask, I start doing painting. So this is for one hour I do painting without any disturbance, no disturbance from household calls or maybe hospital phone calls. Nothing is there and you are engrossed in, in, in your uh, painting. It's like a meditation for me. So I take out mostly in the morning hours. That is my uh, uh, lovely period, basically. I enjoy doing painting early in the morning. And maybe uh, we don't have OPDs in the evening. Being an anesthesiologist, we don't have OPDs in the evening. So evening, I can take out some time if I think so. Then half an hour or maybe one hour uh, we can do in the evening also. So it all depends on your passion and your dedication. So uh, whenever you like the things, you take out time. That is the main <laughs> thing. Yeah. So you make, if you want to do something, you have to make time for it. Uh, points well taken. Uh, Sri Vidya, what is your inspiration? Uh, <clears throat> my inspiration is that I'm able to make something out of these colors. I feel these colors are very therapeutic. You know, in fact, uh, I... Uh, when I am doing a painting, like uh, Dr. Maya said, most of my pictures are taken from nature. And I love painting animals. Uh, paint animals and birds are my passion. And uh, I'm trying to develop that. There are a lot of uh, people who are doing uh, animals with pencils and acrylic. Doing it with watercolor is very tough, very, very, very tough. And uh, I'm trying to navigate that and, you know, convince my mentor that I want to do that. So every time I say that this time I want to put a leopard painting on the, for the exhibition, I say, no, 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 you go back, you do a landscape, you do a cityscape, you are better that. Because I was told that I'm a semi-abstract, uh, you know, genre like that. So not being in an art, profession we do not really know the nuances of these paintings you know we don't know what these paintings mean we don't know so we just started off because it was being in the medical field itself is so tough so we needed something totally disconnected uh, from our medical field i realized the one thing which i always tell my patient is that we need to have something parallel to do which has nothing to do with your family, with your children, with your profession, or with your earning capacity. And then you will be able to give it a little more and you'll be able to get productivity out of it. So that is what kept, keeps me going. And I think in the last three, four years, I have come a long way from being a scratchy person who did not know that there, used, there is a 
paper for watercolor and there is a canvas for acrylic i mean i was that bad when i started <laughs> namrata your inspiration my inspiration <laughs> was just to i think de stress basically from ot and everything so that's how i started and as uh, with this said that it's basically i also started with poster colors and then over a period of time through youtube and all then and then later i realized you don't need a medium basically you can use a pen pencil or watercolor paper or canvas or i draw on on anything anything even uh, tissue paper i draw wherever i go i basically draw i am very very passionate about drawing so some of the places i've been i didn't have paper so i just sketched on tissue paper at night i sketch on any paper i get plates walls anything anything would do so anything which gives me color basically i paint that so uh, 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 what inspires you to produce that particular thing at that moment what uh, how traveling what mostly this is traveling what i want to make so basically what uh, catches my eye is light on any uh, surface basically whether it is flower i the lighting and the shadows of a flower or a color or when i go outside then of course uh, landscapes but generally i find the reflections of light and the shadows very very fascinating so anything which shows very strong light from one side and gives the shadows or the colors that fascinates me that makes me want to paint that great uh, ravina what's your inspiration uh inspiration as such there's nothing now like you know there there's always some idea goes into my mind and uh, there's always some instinct that we do you know do this do you know try this color try this medium of art or something like that and i just experiment with it and it it looks it looks like art and you know people like it even, even i like it actually on experimenting is you know it is actually a therapy to say you know uh, and this instinct and this kind of you know um, you know something comes into me only when i am very much happy at the time it happens or whenever i'm like very much depressed at that time also it happens uh, uh, you know uh, it, you know art helps me to you know be in that stable mode that i'm not very happy and very not stressed you know that, that thing this art helps me so there's nothing inspiration as such man there's something goes into my mind says you know some instinct tells me you know do this thing you know uh, you know paint some forest kind of thing or you know uh, i see a movie and it's that particular character is like so nice you know it just you, you know some philosophy that person gives me and i i get him so it's like that so Right. Like so that, you're you're inspired by anything and everything around you. I mean, you don't yeah, need any exactly. particular thing. I I get that. Exactly. I get that. Yeah. So uh, all of you mentioned a little bit about that. So I will. Uh, that that's that will be my next question. Do you need to be formally trained to start doing a painting? And uh, uh, did any of you, uh, you know, actually learn from somebody? Namrata, did you actually undergo any training, or did you have a teacher, or do you have a mentor? Uh, I, your mic is off. the mic is off namrata uh, only youtube i only watch youtube lots of youtube there are very good teachers trained teachers on youtube so that's what helped and uh, i haven't taken any uh, formal training didn't even have time actually to see any formal training for that so basically youtube lots and lots of youtube and i read up a lot uh, books and uh, this thing otherwise nothing so self learning self yeah, yeah. self directed okay self taught okay. yeah. uh, dr maya uh, what about you yeah actually uh, as namrata has told uh, youtube is the best teacher and you can <laughs> learn learn at any time uh, at your comfort zone but of course i have attended couple of workshops and few mentors are there uh, who take online sessions and in uh, lockdown i have attended few online sessions also but it is basically a self taught artist uh, self taught artist not a trained one uh, taken training from any institute that is the basic thing so right. uh, you you can learn from youtube also no problem So, uh, Shri Vidya, I know that you are actually teaching one of our common friends, Arti. So, whom did you learn from? So, I started in school uh, uh, from my teacher, uh, 
school teacher dr mr ambulkar in sevagram i'm from i did my schooling in sevagram mgims so i used to learn in school at that time and then the whole of mbbs till i was in my final year i was part of the um, art uh, the the okay. cultural uh, you know committee and used to be one of the fill gappers you know fill in the gap person for any type of uh, exhibitions till i was in my final mbbs but i was always directed by my seniors okay aaj ye cartoon banana udhar aaj wo cartoon banana ye rangoli ke beech mein gap hai ye dal do types that type it was but typically after i finish my mbbs and md nothing totally uh recently like uh, dr maya and amrita said most of the time it is either from i started with udemy udemy has got lot of good courses online then i have a very uh, very very good uh, mentor uh, in kochi uh, his name is sunil linus uh, i'm part of this group called wet palette and i've been learning from him for the last 3 years uh, it, that's a very serious uh, education which i do uh, but not like a consistent thing i'm not like very there all the time but i go once in 3 4 months i go for a weekend and i sit with him and like eight hour session and i've done like around three times and attended some workshop <clears throat> um i also attended a couple of uh, uh, online workshop with uh, mr milan mulik uh, who is a pune based uh, very very proficient yes, artist yes, yes. they are all watercolor artists basically but it's only yeah. the watercolor for which i have because i realized that i really needed a little hand holding because you don't even know where you are going wrong in watercolor so i took but charcoal and acrylic is something which i have pretty much learned on my own and uh, i made lot of mistakes and i've come out of it so now i am taking uh, uh, i go and uh, help uh, autistic children and i'm trying to do some art therapy for them whenever i have time so that that's one of the most beautiful thing about art so essentially at this age we cannot be going to school and college but i think the covid has done us all a very very big turn by uh setting up this online sessions for everything so it works but you still need some hand holding somewhere so the mentors are there for that so uh, ravina did you uh, formally learn or uh, you you were just uh, <clears throat> you were always doing your own thing uh with uh, me because telling that i would say that everyone is an artist ma'am actually uh you take a pen or count me out i could never draw anything in anatomy it was uh, no, i had the toughest time in my life uh drawing stuff in anatomy and that kind of uh, decided for me that i can never probably do anything artful like <laughs> no, no, no 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 please no no ma'am don't think in that way everyone is an artist in their own way i believe this is my kind of motto So uh, well, uh, I remember I was taught during my childhood by my art and craft teacher, uh, who is Sister Mary. Uh, she always has the Friday last period will be given to her. She teaches, you know, art. She teaches sculpting uh, and you know watercolor, everything. She teaches us to explore. And that was only till eighth grade. And after that, uh, you know, from that I just started, you know, exploring things. I said, "Ma'am, nothing like people taught me nothing like that." I I was exploring and you know, adding some color to this and that. And that's how my art is. There's nothing like specifically I learned. But uh, maybe one teacher who taught me would be just a maybe or uh, in my combination. Uh, all right. Um. So, uh, before you each of you start your own uh, uh, you know small mini presentations uh, one again one uh, common question uh, what, what do you gain from this uh, uh, how has it helped your uh, profession how has it helped your uh, personal life uh, your uh, happiness uh, your creativity in other zones what what has this art done for you we'll uh, start with namrata um art basically is very meditative for me especially i do a lot of zentangles with colors and all <laughs> that is very very meditative it kind of calms me down with all those patterns and everything it really calms me down and it's a it's a passion for me and i don't think i can do without uh, art anywhere whether i am abroad or whether i am going inside i just need to paint sketch or do something even before sleeping sometimes just to 
uh, get calm my mind. I, I need that. Right, uh, uh, Dr. Maya. Yeah, uh, art basically, or maybe passion, teaches you the uh, how to have a patience, perseverance, dedication to your any anything what you do in your life. So it teaches us to be cool, calm, quiet, and do your activity. It's a beautiful journey, basically. You should not target any destination. You should enjoy that journey. And the journey, if it is beautiful, ultimately the destination has to be beautiful. So this is the way the life is. We should enjoy each and every day. Maybe it, it is a painting or it is an anesthesia. So it is like uh, both the things, profession and passion should go along with each other. And it gives you the balanced life. And that is very important thing for we as a professionals. So, uh, Sri Vidya, for those who say, oh, my profession is, uh, 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 is my passion. Like, you know, I, like I could say that, oh, I'm passionate about anesthesia. Mm -hmm. I just love what I do. Uh, do you, uh, would you still say that I should have another interest? Sorry? Another, another interest in painting? <clears throat> no, anything else. I mean, painting, yes, obviously. But uh, I'm just saying, like you're saying your profession and your passion, not necessarily two are uh, diverse. Like uh, mm -hmm. Radha Krishna might say that, oh, surgery is my passion and I'm practicing it. Why do I need to do anything else? So what what do you think, what, what would one gain by pursuing something other than one's profession? Not necessarily to escape from it or de-stress from it, but actively pursue it. I think it adds more value to your life, to your, your self. You, know, you feel good about yourself. The de-stressing, the depression, women go through menopause, uh, hormonal changes. We don't know. We lose ourselves as women, I think. I mean, we lose ourselves as individual in all these uh, professional battles. What art has done is to show me that I can be my own person anywhere. One of the biggest things for women in 40s is that this is the time when actually children leave home and go. One of the best way to handle, I mean, I realized that I was a very uh, busy person, like a total mother running around, everything and all, and suddenly the kids are not there anymore. And I learned to live with myself because of my art. I learned that I, I don't have to feel lonely. I don't have to feel depressed. The colors are my companions and every creation comes to life there. That is the most important thing. And one very beautiful thing I've realized about my painting and my artwork is it's one of the best way to gift something. It is the beautiful, very personalized gift and it is so much appreciated by people. I mean, I have literally made right from tea cozies to fridge mats to big paintings to, you know, come, uh, I mean, uh, or to say customized painting now in demand, in spite of the fact that I say that I cannot, I cannot promise you a deadline. I cannot give you on time. I will take six months. Sometimes I may not. I have one, a couple of incomplete paintings. I'm not, don't feel like touching it, but they are willing to wait. So that is the beauty of being a professional doctor where your value is different and being an artist, it adds value to your life. Right. Uh, so uh, before you start your presentation, uh, we have uh, Chetna Agarwal. She's also, uh, she's also a doctor and an anesthetist and an uh, uh, artist. And uh, I mean, she's into modeling and beauty pageants and uh, no. the work. So uh, uh, just Hi, uh, speak <laughs> word to Chetna about wow. what has been being spoken about in the past half an hour. Uh, yes. uh, your perspective of what we do. Hi, Chetna. Hi, Chetna. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for inviting me to this uh, session. It's beautiful. And uh, you generally do all uh, like academic sessions. So thank you so much for including this topic. I think that uh, any any hobby, one should definitely have at least one hobby in their life. Any, It could be anything, be it sports, be it uh, art or any literature, anything or cultural activities, any one activity is very important to like reduce the stress and to bring joy into your one into your life anytime when you want to. So that passion definitely gives you a drive in your life and removes the monotony in your life, definitely. I have been into art right from childhood. The passion was seen by my parents and like I, they 
helped me pursue my passion throughout. Like they took me to competitions and everything. And uh, even when uh, in 11th standard, when I took computers just to be on the academics more and uh, like to uh, help me uh, prepare for uh, MBBS exams. So uh, still people told me, my art teacher told me, my class students told me that, no, you should be in art. So I had to change from computer to art again. And uh, like uh, that passion is still continuing. And uh, even in college, like I was the co-secretary for the Vibrant, which we have here in uh, Baroda Medical College. And uh, we had done lots of uh, uh, like artwork for the college for that event. So thankfully now in this uh, profession also, that passion has continued despite the time constraints which we have definitely. But still, I think if it is in your heart, it will come out anytime you want to bring it out. So yes, we have continued that passion. And uh, I have participated in many art exhibitions, uh, solo and as well as group exhibitions, and won some international awards also in that. And uh, like being in ISA, like uh, I have done many uh, exhibitions with uh, Maya Ma'am. Uh, we did uh, joint art exhibitions for Art and Literary Club uh, in uh, ISACON 21, 22, and uh, in UI ISACON also. So basically it all happens. And uh, personally, like uh, in ISACON 2021, one thing which was that I made a special tribute to COVID-19 warriors. It was a six by two feet plank, which I had it with me. And in just a matter of two nights there only at the ISACON 21, I made that there itself with thread work, gloves, mask and everything, woodwork and everything and paint. So that was an absolutely delight to present there as a tribute to COVID-19 warriors, which was like, just, it just came out of my heart. So I think whatever is in your heart, if you can bring it out to any, any palette, like any uh, medium, through any medium, it, it represents what is going in your mind and it uh, brings out your thoughts in that. So you can, you can just put out your heart out into your paint work in your art in any way. Thank you, Chetna, for joining us and for sharing your passion with us. Uh, we'll uh, quickly go over to the individual uh, presentations. Uh, Dr. Maya, could you start? Yes, yes, sure, sure. Just one second. I will so share I my I'm glad to also have Sanjay Rora, my batchmate from MBBS. He also does a lot of art. Sanjay, while Dr. Maya gets the presentation going, would you like to say something? Sanjay Arora? Vidya, he said he may have to run for a delivery. So I'm not <laughs> sure if he's still on. Okay. So Dr. Maya, if you can just go to uh, full screen slideshow. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can you see and yes. can you hear me? Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Once again, good evening, dear all artists, art lovers, and art admirers, and dear delegates. I'm Dr. Maya Bhalera, consultant anesthesiologist and artist by heart. Today in Art Attack, my topic is Journey of Colors. Disclaimer, I am not a trained artist, not taken any formal training from any institute. I am a self-taught artist and learned my art lessons from YouTube and a couple of online sessions. Friends, we as a medical professionals always in some or the other way have stress. It may be family responsibilities, it can be a commitment to a spouse or the family members. Higher education of children can give rise a stress. We do investment and financial management can be a stressful condition. Surgical cases, ICU management, high-risk cases, and hospital manage management can be a stressful condition. We work in institute and peer pressure, work pressure, or maybe other responsibilities and can cause frustration, loneliness, stress, hypertension, and coronary artery disease. So we got to find ways to overcome it. It is rightly said that embrace any hobby, any passion, and it can be a great escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. It can be a sports, gardening, trekking, music, as we have already discussed. So art attack, what is this art attack? Friends, attack means 
it can be a uh, synonymous with the demoralizing condition devastating condition or maybe it have a negativity but art art can never be a demoralizing condition it can never be a negative uh, thoughts it has a great positive impact and we all artists are going to make that positive impact on you so art is unquestionably one of the purest and highest element in the human happiness as we are seeing right now we have different media like uh, acrylic media oil media pastels poster or fabric but watercolor painting is absolutely different this watercolor painting has brought incredible meaning to my life why only watercolor of course when i went through the journey of watercolors it has got certain benefits it is easy to handle and easy process of clean up no huge investment it is affordable to all of us space required is less simple setup you can set up in one corner of your house at any given time you can get into it switch on switch off is user friendly when you are off from the hospital duty you can immediately start painting no mess no smell and of course the applauds and the appreciation is rewarding so watercolor per se i would like to talk about it is undefinitely addictive media why addictive once you start doing watercolor painting you would like to do again and again unique media yes watercolor has a reputation of being the difficult medium this is because of its porcelain beauty and non flexible nature it requires a careful understanding of color blending application techniques and ability to layer the pigment on each other i am not going to talk about the detail how to paint in watercolor because it requires a special session watercolor painting mistakes are very hard to recover or cover you cannot erase them and it is very uh, it takes time to uh, dry the layers or sometimes they dry very fast before applying the next layer the colors in the tube are way different when they are poured in the palette and they look absolutely different they have different behavior when they are applied on the paper so what is the fund of watercolor this you can see in the painting you can see different flowers different colors but not a single flower is like some other fra other flowers they are the cap uh, petals they are merged into each other they have lost and found effect they there is a less in less is more effect you need not to paint each and every petal you need not to paint each and every branch hard crisp edges against soft blended edges give fantastic effect play of light and shadow gives liveliness and bring movement in the painting and that is very very important the results are unpredictable after the painting is done they don't look artificial or pasted on the canvas it's a fascinating and elusive media and that's why my art my story starts here when my daughter was in 2014 she was in 12th standard i had to sit with her giving her company so what to do then i started scribbling on the paper and did few paintings they were the copy paintings from master artist but displacing paintings awful paintings brought the mega art block i was absolutely nervous dissatisfied and i packed all the paintings and kept in in one corner then on my 50th birthday my husband wanted to give a surprise what he did he brought all the old paintings they were really awful and he did a small exhibition for our small group of uh, doctors and believe me everybody appreciated my painting so art speaks where words are unable to explain and i found that ignition point that was a igni ignition point for me and from then i started doing painting and that was 2019 so in between four years i had that mega block art block and i did not do any paintings so th since then i decided to pursue watercolor painting as a hobby as a passion i was little bit clueless to start i was like a blank page again 
who will be my mentor what to do with the brush and colors and is this an age to learn the paint painting but then i came to know few well known master artists they started painting in later stage of life so paints palettes and brushes were new arrivals in my home again and i started getting to know them slowly with new vision new dreams it was very exciting to play with the colors i wanted to explore their behavior and i decided to make them my companions and of course as you see again i had the same experience i simply can't do it so non appealing awful work used to give me some defeat and disappointment for time being but then i decided this time i am not going to have a art block the constant dissatisfaction and thirst to make good painting kept me flowing and moving with the watercolors perseverance in practice sessions gave wings to explore more in the field and of course after couple of years happy accidents or maybe masterpieces in between were like an oasis to make me cheerful once in few days of course it has got a long and steep learning curve and you have to really master it the mastery comes mostly from the frustrating process of practice and lots of mistakes you can see here this man is really frustrated and he is throwing paper in the dustbin the mistakes you should think that they are the investments and not the wastage of paper more it goes in the dustbin more rich is your experience so i i would like to em emphasize keep on doing it keep on putting your efforts good paper good brushes good colors or maybe the best quality paper brushes and colors give you masterpiece and one thing one point we should remember let the brush paint paper do their work you can't lead them they lead you let them behave whatever they way, the way they want to behave on the paper when you try to control everything you enjoy nothing so you enjoy the process with the watercolors then you will ask me the question why embrace watercolor painting it is so difficult media friends the luminosity transparency and fluidity give ethereal and surreal effect it's wondrous magical process one evokes a sense of wonder when the colors spread collide and merge into each other and that you don't expect different color has different emotions sometimes they are cheerful sometimes they are mystic sometimes sometimes they make us nervous it is a complex but extremely versatile media once you get a hang of it you can see few paintings which i have done last year you can see the vibrancy the freshness the reflection all these uh, this is really fascinating you can see this painting uh, which i had displayed in a recent exhibition at italy fabriano in aquarello and people really like the way they are like the colors are spread on the paper sunflowers i had done more than 25 30 uh, paintings on sunflower when ukraine war had started that time uh, actually ukraine uh, this sunflower is a national flower of ukraine i wanted to just uh, give my uh, tribute and sympathy and empathy towards ukrainian people so i did this uh, sunflower paintings as you can see the which i have already mentioned the vibrancy freshness translucence translucency is well depicted in the watercolor paintings you can see the beautiful light and shadow effect the vastness the serene uh, vastness and the blue color of the sky the houses the uh, mountains the flowers it is really beautiful in watercolor friends i would like to share with you wherever i go i capture the beauty in my lens i had traveled to arctic and antarctica and uh, we had taken more than 2000 photographs capturing the essence of antarctica and painting them uh, on the water paper watercolor paper was really a challenge because the reflections the water is really uh, difficult to uh, come out on the paper but i tried my best and i brought back home the mesmerizing antarctica landscapes and i would like to share with you when i did a painting exhibition in the month of march 
I had created one cold zone, and only Antarctica painting were displayed, and people used to go there and Maya. I'm feeling very cold near these paintings, so this was my reward. This was like uh, uh, coverage by the local newspaper Antarctica Chiranga Bhramanti, and they, uh, this uh, media paper, the uh, media people, they were mesmerized to see these Antarctica paintings. Yes, I had been to Iceland. As I have already mentioned, travel mm -hmm. is my passion, and wherever I go, I capture these beauties. Yeah. This is a painting, sir, color attack. Uh, this is a color attack by Mother Earth in the sky. You can see the beautiful color attack by the Mother Earth. Various shades of these northern lights. We call it at call it as Aurora Borealis or the dancing lights. This various shades, this phenomenon is mesmerizing. And uh, I had captured in my mind, I had registered, and we could see this uh, Northern Lights phenomenon consecutive for, for four days. And I could paint it. I tried my level best to paint it with the watercolors. Friends, this art is about color, shapes, tonal values, and the contrast. If you find big shapes in the landscape or maybe in the nature, then you draw or you paint those uh, big shapes, small shapes. Uh, shapes. Use contrast. Look for the tonal values. Use cool and warm colors in the right proportion and the masterpiece is right in front of you. But art can, can be beyond these color shapes, tonal values and contrast. It can be an expression of humanity, heritage and emotions. Humanity because this art is translated in next generation. It it connects you to the society. That's a humanity. Emotions are expressed on the paper. Art reconnects you with yourself and with the society. You can see like-minded people with a diverse culture can be brought on one platform and they get mutual inspiration and admiration from each other. It refuels the energy and gives us me time for self-care. My hobby, my passion has given me not only identity and confidence, but has given me the utmost happiness and which I experience daily whenever I do painting early in the morning. It has given me an opportunity to connect with the nature and have a close encounter with fauna, flora in the nature. I enjoy being, in the, uh, being with the nature. I could strengthen my relations with the people of different race, religion, and nation beyond boundaries, which I have already experienced when I had visited Italy twice in the last couple of years. Friends, I would like to mention anesthesia is my profession. Anesthesia, this profession has originated from the brain, but watercolor painting has originated from my heart. The love for art from the heart and the frequent art attacks on my mind has given birth to my studio, Ranga Brahmanti Art Studio and Art Gallery. And thanks to my husband, Dr. Sudhir, and my uh, daughter, Ishwari, for their great support. You can see this, my Ranga Brahmanti Art Gallery. It's well illuminated, well ventilated, 1600 square foot art gallery, where I have displayed more than 50 paintings. These are the glimpse, glimpses of my art gallery. And people, they love to come at my art gallery. Apart from artists, I invite my anesthesia colleagues to have and to conduct meetings at my art gallery. And people are very happy to be in art gallery and enjoy paintings along with anesthesia discussions. Friends, art for good. This caption is I had given for my recent exhibition, which I have already mentioned art is not for. It's beyond uh, tonal values, colors, and the contrast. Recent exhibition which, where I had displayed 108 paintings and more than 50 paintings were sold and they found new home address. Entire amount was given to charity and this was help, uh, help to society. So to conclude, Art Attack, it's a power packed positive energy missiles. So it is up to you. We, Artists are there to attack art on your heart.
Thank you, Dr. Maya, so for sharing all your pictures. From the mind and makes it free to lead happy life. It releases the serotonin. It activates the reward center in the brain, releases happy hormone and gives relaxation. So isn't it a therapy for mental well-being? And why not to go for it? Then you will ask me question. When can I start painting? It is too late for me now. Friends, it is never late. Never late in life. You can start doing painting. Even a couple of friends, they inspire with this session. I think the session is successful. Thank you so much. Few exhibitions to my credit. I have participated twice at Italy exhibition, three to four solo exhibitions, six group uh, watercolor exhibitions. And I'm really proud to say that Inter, uh, Indian Society of Anesthesiologists, we have established art and uh, literary uh, club for all the ISA uh, colleagues. And thanks to Dr. Naveen Malhotra, sir, for giving me this opportunity. Dr. Chetna is with me for this. I had held one online exhibition for, for one of our friend who required a liver transplant. And we wanted to donate some, uh, we wanted to support him some financial, financially. So Rangabramanti Art Gallery, I'm an associate member of Japan International Watercolor Institute, that is GV. Friends, please do visit my website, www.rangabramanti.com. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vidya Madam, once again for giving me an opportunity. Thanks a lot. Uh, Dr. Maya, it was a privilege to have you on board and uh, you've had everyone mesmerized, not only with your paintings, but with your presentation as well. Uh, thank you so much. We'll come back to you with uh, audience questions. Uh, so uh, if you could temporarily, yeah, stop sharing your screen. Great. Uh, uh, Sri Vidya, would you like to go next? Yeah, but after Maya, madam, it, it's like, you know, very amateur effort from my side. Maya, yeah, madam, yeah, madam, yeah, really, we are very, here to very try and inspire people who can't paint yeah, to yes. paint. So, uh, <laughs> I you know, know, I know. Yeah. So the the whole uh, yeah I'll just share with them. Let me just once again. Uh, so Doc Namrata, if you can just uh, send me a personal message or uh, put it in the chat box whenever you're ready to do your screen share, uh, because initially you had some problems. So just let me know when you're ready. Uh, yeah, you okay to share now? Yeah, one second, one second. I'm not. Um... So, uh, uh, Ramesh, when uh, Sri Vidya is getting ready to share her screen, uh, uh, your comment, you're muted right now. You're I am muted. ready. I'm not muted. Not anymore. Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, Ramesh. Uh, Sri Vidya, yeah. you're getting ready to share, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Just one, yeah. Okay. One Go ahead, Ramesh. One. You have a minute in between. Okay, uh, should I wait or should I? Yeah, yeah, go right ahead. I mean, she's getting ready. You can yeah, I think, I think uh, uh, this was totally a different experience for me listening to Dr. Maya. Uh, yes, uh, I all the while thought that water painting, watercolor painting is not so very difficult for me. That's my point of view. But uh, I think she has proved it more to say that it is not difficult while she says it is difficult. <laughs> Uh, absolutely amazing yes, paintings. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, it's all from the heart. It, the creativity is unforgiving. Is... It is totally uh, unforgiving. Oil, oil is way better. <laughs> Easier no, to no, no. Actually, Even actually your screen is a lot of accidents in I'm not uh, able to. Yeah, uh, I'm just does, trying to. Maybe yeah. if somebody else can do, I'll just can let I you share it. I am hey, ready. Uh, yeah, uh, right ahead. ahead. Uh, if, uh, your, if your sharing works, go right ahead. Yeah, yeah. please. And uh, meanwhile, Ravina, I hope you have sorted out your audio because uh, everywhere there are um, a gazillion comments on the chat box that you're not heard well. So Yes. Uh, do you hear my voice uh, clear much right now? Much better. Much better. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much <laughs> to my sister to say she was the one who made sort of all those things. Okay. Anyway, ma'am. Yes. And I really liked Maya ma'am's work. It was amazing. The, you know, the... The Northern Lights, how did you ever bring the gradient, ma'am? I have tried a lot, you know, the watercolor paper have just soaked, you know, it, you know, the, the next yes, paper yes. it goes, the color just oozes out and amazing, ma'am. And uh, 
you know you have a studio art studio i should definitely you know visit your studio once in a while at least and experience yes, it yes yes you are welcome you are welcome i would definitely come in my life to somehow or the other ma'am awesome. it was amazing hey, puna is not northern lights you can go quite easily <laughs> no no it's like no ma'am it's yeah, like uh, the northern lights Yeah, I'm just fun. telling. Hey, you don't uh, have to think of life. Like Rab- Rabina, the best best months. medium for watercolor, in my experience, is getting handmade papers out of Pondicherry. Uh, you oh. know, uh, uh, Arabindo Ashram is one of okay. the best things. They don't bleed. Uh, they look up. They'll do a good job. Oh, fine, fine. De- thank you for that advice. So I'll definitely oh, get that, that and try it. it. You you know, might be very interesting to get it in Arabindo Ashram. Yeah, Arbindo Ashram sells ha- handmade paper. It's available in regular stationery shops also. Oh. You have to ask for it. Oh, fine, fine. How much fine. is the GSM? Any idea? How much is it? Pardon? GSM. How GSM. GSM? Papers GSM, sir. Yeah, it's it's three hundred GSM. Uh, then you get up to three fifty GSMs. Even oh. Chitrapat is good. Hey, sir, uh, you get actually three hundred one forty pound. Yeah, one forty will bleed a bit. Six hundred, six hundred. Yeah, sorry. even six hundred per I'm piece of paper. I think, but uh, you need some uh, practice uh, to paint on it. Right. So, doctor, yeah, yeah. the now greatest challenge are... is doing it on canvas. Huh? I have done it on canvas, so it was really you know hair pulling to complete one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but after certain stage like achieving certain experience if you shift to branded papers like lana or fabriano they yes. are wonderful papers and you can layer the pigments maybe 6 uh, 7 times and they don't soak uh, oh. what uh, uh, ravina was telling na so yeah. if it is a local made paper then they uh, get soaked very fast okay but if you use some good quality papers, quality papers. Mm. which Doctor, are how do you preserve them quality paper good brushes and good colors bring out marvelous uh, effects yes, dr maya how amazing. do you preserve them how do you preserve them for years i varnish sir, all my paintings no sir for watercolor Water painting color, you don't, don't need any varnish or it. any layering on it you just preserve in a plastic mm. carry bag and that remains very good only thing water should not like uh, should not fall on it or it should not Much come is, in yeah. contact with the uh, rainy season maybe uh, it should But not expose to i have found that uh, tra- transparent varnishing actually uh, i have done it by experience uh, it's so about 10 years it holds on if you my first painting actually, is there actually uh, ha 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 i have never, not tried basically tried. but if you Particular, see uh, my no. uh, paintings in my house they are since 6 7 years and they are as it is <coughs> very good that they were there 6 uh, years or 7 years I, ago i don't even varnish my acrylics i don't do yeah. no no you don't have to varnish acrylic mm-hmm. but uh, water uh, will not stay no, beyond 6 no, no. years no no it stays i mean i have not had it a problem stays, uh, yeah yeah i have paintings uh, which are like uh, they are old and they are they are as it is no issues for them i i got a manuscript painting from jaipur which is mm. almost 180 years old Oh, that that is watercolor. organic painting it's out of uh, uh, it is, it is it not even alive. a watercolor paper it is a thin paper but very yes. well hmm. yes yes it will stay because it's out of pigments they do it wonderful we need to get out of this technical talks and you know yeah. i actually so, so ready, if uh, 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 sorry i can't uh, ravina ravina uh, namrata please summon I, some I help able to no 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 share. just summon some help and meanwhile ravina I can, got her audio sorted yeah yeah i can also do it Can can go right ahead. Ready. Go go ahead. Yeah. So, Namrata, yeah. please seek some help from uh, whoever's around. Yeah, yeah. 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 Go ahead, uh, Sri Vidya. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, my journey is very very simple. Am I audible? Yes. Uh, yes, please. You need to go on the full screen. Yeah, I am on full screen now. so my journey is very simple uh, in 2018 like way way before the covid i was i joined uh, just before i joined mgm one of my sorry, class... sorry to interrupt shri vidya on our screen it is still uh, yeah yeah it is still uh, uh, different not uh, not on uh, just uh, press the slide show uh, icon down there or um, uh, from current slide or whatever you need to click once more just one second there is just one second let me reshare uh your sharing is working just fine it's just that you need to go on full screen or slide show which are, or the hour glass you click on it something slide show okay the hour glass bottom right yeah, you press yeah yeah i got it i got it yeah yeah, yeah right yeah 
first you so need to in, start sharing just start yes. sharing your screen Sorry, so, uh, this you need to minimize yeah, your uh, you need to minimize your file then press on share screen and then after that uh, open the file back again yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i'm, I'm yeah, i got it yeah. one second one second yes um can we uh, okay go to the right and uh, uh, lower corner yeah, yeah, you will find you. a screen press that yes, yes. yeah sorry yeah so no your I, uh, yeah, it's still not happened yeah, it, it's still on something else just go you're still on some other icon two more to the right mom oh, slide share yeah. from beginning you can just uh, click on it mom yeah, you know, that's the easiest yeah, i think no there is something wrong with my system that i am not able the 100% there's a, a toggle down there ma'am near that there yeah, is yeah, a right hand side corner it will be there no 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 i got that uh, am i are my slides visible yeah, yeah. So visible, all the like, slides uh, are visible uh, they are okay. like now, all of them all of them now now also go go and press from beginning it will work yeah i am at the beginning only now no no you need to press that from beginning below the file there is a red uh, thing with file below that you are, it says yeah, like yeah yeah i know i know all that why is it not because i am able to see it very easily hold on a minute okay from beginning okay let's no, wait still, still it's not getting into the slide mode oh wait, 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 wait. once one second sorry one second give me a minute i'm so sorry mm. Uh, so ravina if you are ready you can go now uh, uh, yeah yes ma'am can i share my screen yes please yeah, yeah. okay the, uh, um, yeah professor navin malhotra has had his has his hand up uh, uh, a, a quick comment sir before ravina yeah but i was just thinking uh, once the slides get uh, started so i won't speak so by the time they get started i must congratulate madam uh, it's pleasure to listen to you again moderating this excellent session and uh, uh, listening to dr mai bale rao was a pleasure and to all other uh, i i know they will be sharing their experiences uh, isa art and literary club uh, was born uh, in pimpri chintwad in the art, when i visited art gallery of dr mai bale rao that gave in uh, insight that why shouldn't we start isa art and literary club so it was born on 5th of january 2020 uh, when i was yes. there and uh, yes and yes dr mai bale rao dr chetna and all other colleagues they have been doing an excellent job uh, in the isa art and literary club their showcase have been there in almost all the functions whether it is the republic day raksha bandhan or you name it and you have it in addition to the national conference and juvacon so i must say that this is art attack is a very good initiative and uh, there was in between some talk that uh, this is not academics but dr mai bale rao said one thing in in her talk that uh, you all the academicians must have one part time hobby or a extra curricular activity to enrich them to refresh them to recharge them so here i found that yes in addition to being academicians clinicians and researchers you can be good artists also and uh, uh, we i am really enjoying your presentations best wishes to all of you thank you very much thank you sir thank, thank you, you sir you uh, i would like to mention so that you can go ahead and Dr. share Mark. your screen others can speak no problem you get oh. your screen started uh, i thought to say i am trying, have... trying to fill the gap with uh, oh. uh, yeah fine fine Uh, Dr. Maya, you were saying something. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Actually, I would like to. Uh, I'm really grateful to Dr. Navin Malhotra sir, who have started this ISA Art and Literary Club, and sir is always like gives us uh, encouraging words and uh, motivate us to do some or the other activity. And we are doing under the guidance of Dr. Navin Malhotra sir. Thank you, sir, so much. and uh, for your kind words and thank you so much keep us inspiring uh, in future also over to you ravina 
Yes, ma'am. Can can everyone see my screen properly? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, before me starting with my you know portraiture and other things exhibiting in this crowd, uh, one thing that I would like to uh, express to everyone is that I feel really liberating in this meet. Seriously, why is that? Uh, you know, when anyone comes and talk to me, you know, oh, you're a doctor. Okay, fine. You're a resident. Fine. Uh, what are the other things that you do? You see IPL, everything they talk. Okay. But what I would do is, you know, I do also art when I, you know, probe a, you know, answer to them or something. They don't probe anything more than that. Oh, nice. That's it. The thing they talk more than art. They don't, you know, ask what you kind of, you know, what, what do you do? What, what are the things that you are good at? Nothing. They don't think most of the people will never ask anything in that way. But I wanted to speak about my art uh, for a very, very long time. But, uh, and this is happening, you know, today is like really, I feel really happy about it. And thank you Vidya ma'am for, you know, giving uh, such a great platform to exhibit my art to everyone. That two great artists uh, in the panel, which I feel really happy. And I always speak to Vidya ma'am, like, how do you come out with these kind of topics? You know, we think about hypoxia, we think about ICU ventilation, that, this, and you know, you are out of box ma'am. I, I really appreciate that. You are creative in that way. And that, and that means you're also, your team is also an artist. I consider in that way. And thank you so much ma'am. And thank you so much for the team for involving me in this in uh you know in between the big big artists in india and i'm here part of that i feel really happy thank you ma'am and further delay i i'll jump into my you know a small video that i made i uh, i was not good uh, you know the ppt didn't work out very well so i just made a compiled uh, you know version of my art in a form of a video let's see so um, uh, art attack is such a catchy you know topic for tonight and uh, the thing uh, what I like to say about art is that I remember when I was small around maybe in my first grade I remember crying to my mom uh, saying uh, you know there is an art competition tomorrow they are asking me to draw a kangaroo I do not know to draw and it's not coming out well I was crying 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 I I am a moderate studying student. I don't get that great marks. I haven't cried any time for that, but I was not able to draw a kangaroo. So that, you know, shook to me. So from then on, I think the love for my art just grew up. So uh, I take art very serious and whatever comes into my mind, I try to replicate that, uh, you know, in the paper. So this is then art when I was in the 11th grade. There is always a children's day competition goes on and, you know, I try my level best to win a prize, but no on my uh you know during my 11th grade i got third prize for this in art and i clicked a picture of it so i thought i'll start start with my first victory in this uh podium so this is just a temple in mahabalipuram i guess and this is a medium of glass painting so i, I was very happy when i got the prize so with this what happens is I, uh, you know, with that prize, I was very much motivated and started to uh, explore more and more. So after 11th, 12th, and I came into med school, and this was in the cover of uh, uh, anatomy book, I guess. And, you know, when I saw this picture, I really thanked my mother. So much of pain, so much of thing that you have taken to make me in this world. So in tribute to my mom, I drew this. And uh, th that is one. And like that, it got to, in, uh, you know, I started doing portraiture and this is Down syndrome, it's Down syndrome and this is progeria here. So um, uh, here, uh, when I when I drew this, just like that, I started uh, drawing with some, you know, here and there, the, you know, the measurements might go wrong, but I love the process. So people encouraged me. So then on, I started, you know, my interest towards portraiture. And Mr. Bean always helped me to laugh on my, you know, um, on my tiring days. And I love the, you know, his, um, his uh, cartoons and his uh, series. So I drew him too. And uh, this is Ilaya Raja. Oh my God, my playlist, 
mostly has a song and uh, i remember when i drew this i posted in twitter I, i don't think so he is in twitter i posted his son daughter everyone that they will see and say to ilera ja and ilera ja would appreciate him me for that and all i took the initiative but nothing happened but anyway that is how it is so he is one of the best musician i know nagesh oh my god i don't know uh, how many of them like i i think everyone would love but in my generation i don't think think so everyone would remember him i love his comedy it, it's it's like really nice so uh, at that time i felt like draw, uh, making a portraiture of him and this is uh, i was you know black and white all my portraiture was black and white i wanted to add some color so the turban was so nice so i thought i'll add the turban a uh, little bit color with black and white i thought it will be a contrast kind of thing so this is a portraiture of uh, a random model and my favorite politician and i like her acting too and and thereby i drew the portraiture this all these portraiture of the senior actors and the characters which i liked was just to practice and that practice uh, you know the the part came out well so i took it as my memory and this is kate middleton uh, one of the people in the royal now these royal families has beautiful caps you know and i normally look into their cap a lot so that particular cap i liked it a lot because it has so much of you know drama going on so i thought i'll repl replicate in my paper so that is the reason why i drew this one and she is my surgery professor and um, you know uh, my notion when i came into medicine every uh, i you know when i saw everyone in surgery everyone were men and she was the only woman and i was like thinking oh surgery even women doctors are there you know of course everyone are there right now but you know at that time it was different for me and she was so inspirational to me so i thought i'll you know draw her and give it to her on a teachers day so that's how uh, this picture came into and this is hong son suki um uh, i you know fancy dress competition i dressed like her and did a oration too so um, in remembrance of that i drew her portraiture also and this is a transformation this is my sister in 2012 i was doing portraiture and 2018 i was able to see some difference you know the shading or the precision all these things were kind of you know improved and that was a kind of a, a, you know motivation for me so i thought i would make this picture into and this i drew uh, one one of uh during my og posting during my internship and the internship was like really hectic as such and you know uh, you can see you can see my emotions in the picture itself you can see the scribbling you know the color itself is like bringing in about to check me from i'm a side so we both sorry oh, okay. rather than you just mute yourself go ahead ravina yeah so th that is why when i started using exploring colors happened this time and here again you know the og posting i was an intern there that motivated me to draw a uh, picture on this and the paper is different it's a cardboard paper and the medium that i've used is the charcoal and the oil pastels uh, you know the crayon so i used that and then uh, i had a, a very good uh, you know uh, a couple of pens i had so i started exploring with calligraphy so this is the thing yeah of course i was in a kind of a very depressive mode so i used to uh, you know to motivate myself i start i started writing calligraphy in a, in a good words like the best is yet to come like that and here then the portraiture of me just started increasing where i started adding colors and uh, the, the the calligraphy also started going up uh, where you you go with your own way and you know like that 
And the other interest that just came into my mind is why do we only see the paper and draw? Why can't we just lively sketch whatever we see? And I started having a small, uh, you know, a small sketchbook like this. And whatever I see, I used to, you know, make a, you know, a small a doodle kind of thing. And, you know, I just thought I'll show you that. And this is in my hostel room. And yeah. The skin tones, I like to explore many skin tones as such, very, uh, you know, all the skin tones. So I thought that. And now comes the watercolor. Uh, you know, I, I started experimenting now with watercolor. Here are a gentleman standing, well, loose watercolor paints I used. And here, uh, a perimal. Um, so Lord Perimal, uh, the, even I tried the, you know, the light sketching. That, that was in my table. So I thought, let me just sketch that first. So in that way, it just happened. And uh, so what happened is, as ma'am told before, uh, one of the speaker, uh, you know, art is an amazing uh, thing where you can gift really. So these are the cards that I made, like when uh, during my internship, whatever department I finishes, I used to give some, you know, artwork uh, card with some good wording to the HOD. And also I will tell everyone saying I have kept it in the notice board, please go look into my art and I'm very much grateful. So like a thank you note, I used to use my art and one uh, such card is this. So pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. And uh, an important thing, I mean, uh, interesting thing that I would like to say is uh, my name is actually Ravina Raghavi Chandraganti Venkatram and quite a, lot, a big name, you know. The Chandraganti belongs to her and she's my granny. Uh, so she's like really close to my heart and my dad always says that I resembles her a lot, the character wise, every in, in, in every way. Uh, now, when I drew this, I went and showed to her saying, see, I, I made a portrait of you. Did you, did you really like it? And she just saw, seriously, she told me that you made me look like an old granny. Why did you do this? I'm looking more anger. Why did you do, uh, you know, why do you make me look so old? And she said, I'm not liking it. And she gave it in my hand. But, the, you know, she was not laughing, but the entire people in my home were like literally laughing. And even now, when, when I say that inc incident, everyone laughs at me. So she's such a hilarious person. Uh, close to my heart so and I like the portraiture here is that because uh, you know the the wrinkles that she has would be very beautiful you know and the age the experience that she had all these things motivated to draw her and uh, this is one of the you know favorite of mine and that I would like to show to everyone and but not like Maya ma'am's not like, uh, you know, Maya Ma'am's work, but, uh, you know, watercolor here and there. I used to experiment, just splashing water with color here and there and draw some doodle like that. And there is another singer, who, she is Vaikum Vijay Lakshmi. Her voice, oh my God, it's so mesmerizing. So I thought, you know, add a little bit of color here and there and, you know, pop up that, you know, that red bindi. Uh, so that kind of uniqueness I thought I'll bring in. And no, you know, can never match with Maya Mams, but this is my own style, you know, easy kind of uh, watercolor. And um, I used to read a lot of books, uh, story books, novels, fairy tales, everything. Now, the book which I don't like at all, but you know, it, but it, it gives a good beauty to my library. I don't want to throw it. So to make use of it, I draw in those papers. So one such book is this. So that, that book, that poetry, I didn't even understand what the author is trying to say, the poet is trying to say, but I understood that I should clearly use it for, as a, my sketchbook. And I started sketching in those, uh, you know, poetry book. So that's how it is. So little bit of watercolors here and there, loose painting like that. And 
uh, again, you know, every morning I hear a voice. My mom put the suprabadam and everything and I hear her voice. And it's there inside my mind always that Kure Yundru Millai is my favorite, you know, a song that I, it's like always in my heart. So that's why I drew her. Amazing singer she is. Again, calligraphy. Be the best version of you. All this to just motivate me, you know, during my, uh, you know, during my depressed mode or something. Gratitude changes everything. You know, when I'm like, nothing is possible, nothing is possible like that. When I keep telling or I do the calligraphy of it. So when I, when I write, cal, you know, gratitude changes everything. I started becoming, you know, grateful to whatever I have. So that's, that's how it helped me. And yeah, dream. Uh, so just a splash of watercolors, nothing more than that. But you know, it looks something like art. Vidya yeah, ma'am, this is what I told you. You can just splash, you can just scribble. It looks like art, so anyone can do it. That's what I try to explain. That. <laughs> just breathe. You know, here also nothing very fancy. Just take a brush, just splash. You get the pink uh, going around. Looked like the feathers of the flamingo. That's it. And put some calligraphy. That became my art. Nothing big. Again, the same. And uh, here, the other the other thing here I, I would like to say is uh, often squirrel, uh, I, you know, I was growing and he was just standing when I drew a can and Correct. At that time, he came and stood eating something and it was like Tom and Jerry kind of moment. So I, I snapped a picture and I thought I'd show you all that. Now again, again, the same thing. Trying watercolors in like foresty kind of thing. And that is one boring book where I tried my, you know, colors there. The same thing. The same thing, a ballet dancer. Cherry blossom and, you know, just dabbing with colors, waters there, that's it. So it's like, I could say that, uh, you know, a, a period of time, there are a few period of time. Initially, my art was fully towards portraiture and then it was fully towards uh, watercolor. I was just going on doing watercolors, what I can do. So each period of my life, I go with different medium of art, maybe. So the other thing, nothing, just dabbing the color and putting it there. And here I started uh, exploring with acrylics. Now that is the thing. Watercolor again. The, uh, you know, uh, I nicely remember during when I drew this, I was very much scared to come out of the house and, you know, I was scared of the world because I finished my MBBS. I was like thinking what I'm going to do. And, you know, you know, my art is just representing all my emotions, I guess. So... The same thing, the same time, you know, I'm, I don't want, I just want to go out, but I'm not able to. So, you know, it's, it's just, you know, replication of that. I want to see the world, but I'm turned away, you know. Now, uh, I remember nicely that. And here, the watercolor, I, I uh, like, you know, played little bit here and there. And now, after, you know, my, I think, internship, I, I was uh, working as a duty medical officer. Now, my, my, my color and my mode of painting changed. I started going with the canvas and acrylics and that is one. Here is another try. And uh, Lord Krishna, she is, um, she, uh, my colleague's daughter, she was dressed as Lord Krishna during Krishna Jayanti, was very beautiful. She was like really divine looking. So I thought I'll draw her. That is one. And then this is the canvas of the random art. Just dabbing, stroking, that's it. There's no big thing. So Ravina, I forgot to just uh, pause you for a bit. If uh, Namrata or Srividya are ready, maybe they can go for a while and then you can come back. You can mm -hmm. hold your uh, uh, video for that point. Yeah, yeah, sure, ma'am, sure, ma'am, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure, okay. I can. Okay, I'll stop my share now. Yeah. Uh, 
I'll yeah. try share it my uh, screen. Let's see. Yeah. Please Who's go. Who's trying? Uh, because only Namrata. one person at a time will be able to do. Namrata, you're going to share? Yeah, let's see. Okay. Yes. The screen looks uh, blank, Namrata. It says yeah. you have started sharing, but, uh, sharing, but nothing's happening. So, uh, Dr. Wing, uh, please continue uh, uh, in, in, with your efforts. We don't bother about the audio. I'm just trying to fill the gaps and uh, also get the audience to interact. Uh, uh, Dr. Venkatesh, uh, nephrologist, has been one of the followers of Marvelous Medicine, and today he's been particularly active. So, uh, Dr. Venkatesh, what would you like to say about what you've been hearing for the past hour and a half? I can't believe we already crossed one and a half hours. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes. Uh, I was initially very skeptical that there may not be too many people who would be watching this program because uh, art and doctors generally don't mingle. But then uh, this particular show has kind of put it put my doubts to complete rest. There are still 50 people hanging around to watch this program. We had 80 and, uh, people, more than 80 people yeah. logged in at one point, Venkatesh. Yeah. Excellent. Great. Uh, excellent. Namrata. Fantastic. Uh, is this is yours, uh, Namrata. Um, where is it? Brilliant paintings, all of them. Okay. Um, this is, uh, I'm Dr. Namrata. I'm an anesthesiologist. So I wanted to just show you that uh, paintings can be just, uh, can be done anywhere. It can be as simple as just few uh, lines on the paper, which will just show what you want to show. So this was one simple uh, sketch, which I did about a journey about a, a couple with a dog. And uh, somehow it, uh, people liked it and there was actually it got sold too, which I was quite surprised. So it can be as simple as few lines on the paper or it can be as complicated as this. Both are Zentangles. Basically that is also a Zentangle. This is also a Zentangle. And I actually like um, uh, the Zentangles because of this. It is very calming and very, uh, uh, rip because of the repetitive, this thing, it is very calming. So these are the types of zentangles I like to do in the night. So it is complicated, but uh, preferably nice. Can you see the screen? Yes, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely perfect. It's just that we are seeing you also another time, but that's yeah, it. I don't know how anything. to remove myself. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, okay, I think this would be better. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, or it can be, see, mm -hmm. I wanted to just show simple, uh, this thing. This is again a simple uh, sketch, which I did. Just the background is black and I've tried to show the face. Either you can draw faces like this, or you can do it as colorful, as complicated. This is a watercolor and the other one is soft pastel. So I do uh, experiment with all type of um, uh, medias. So this is one of the media, one is watercolor, the other one is soft pastel. This is something which I did for uh, ENT international uh, faculty, which had come. So they wanted to showcase uh, Kolkata and these were the, these were done on plates basically to be gifted as mementos to the faculty, international faculty. So this is uh, something which is showing uh, Kolkata, but on plates so that it could be uh, easily gifted to them. So basically you don't need any particular uh, paper, media or anything like that. If you like art, you can do it in, on anything possible. This is one I was talking about. I went out to USA. I didn't have any paper, didn't take any paper, but I really, really wanted to sketch. So these are done on paper towels. All of them are done on paper towels. All three of them. Basically, I was on uh, a beach. So uh, they were done on paper towels. I just had paper towels and uh, black pen. 
this is how i started i wanted to relax myself and uh, in the night i would sit down with a pen and while my daughter was studying i would keep uh, sketching and uh, writing something so this is how my art basically started initially just after marriage when my daughter was small and going to school so these are like midnight musings which you can see there are just pen sketch on simple paper nothing else this is again the same thing paper pen and we had gone to kenya i had just one book and two paper two colors so this was how what it came out just two pen one black this thing so this is what it comes for kenya this is kolkata uh, festival durga puja is one of the biggest festival we have so the first one is a charcoal painting which i have done of uh, a face of durga being uh, crafted out the second one is again durga but it's slightly more detailed and the third one is the visarjan which is shown first one is charcoal second one is soft pastel and the last one is oil pastel this is something which i drew i had garden chairs so i uh, painted with acrylic on garden chairs i wanted to show flowers so this was the seat of the thing i just took the paper i the uh, painting of the chair i haven't uh, taken the chair itself because the chair basically later on with uh, uh, the rain and all it got spoiled so this is what was left of the painting you don't again as i was saying you don't need any kind of paper this is done on newspaper uh, the right one the first one is on newspaper it's on charcoal with newspaper koi fishes the second one is simple pen uh, in the ot i was sitting and i drew this because i had some color pencils and later on i put on the color the pen sketch was done in the ot basically these are soft pastels one is soft pastel one is watercolor again this is some this the second one actually i got inspired by maya maya makes such beautiful flowers on uh, watercolor so i saw her painting and then i got inspired for the second one the second one is thanks to maya but <laughs> with watercolor but both of them are sold i don't have them with me at all this is kolkata this again was uh, done by on acrylic this is howrah bridge so this was done on request of a friend of mine who wanted to uh, show the thing this is uh, victoria memorial again in howrah by request of a friend she, he wanted a huge one 48 by 36 inches uh, acrylic canvas so this is a huge acrylic canvas on which uh, i had drawn the victoria memorial so uh, what i want to say is you can make art as complicated as you want or you can make it as simple as few lines to show the steps it just depends on what mood you are in and what the thing and age is not a matter at all neither is your uh, Uh, what you want to do or how much talented you are just see the light put in some colors and something or the other will come out but you need to learn a bit you need to have the basics of color combinations and basics of what you are trying to show then you'll be able to come out with this thing i love to draw phoenix for some reason because i love the idea of something coming out of fire and living again and again so i love this uh, a uh, bird which basically goes down in the fire and comes out alive again and it lives around a thousand years or so every time so both of them are sold basically but i love doing uh, acrylic uh, acrylics uh, in phoenix this is the phoenix bird and i had written few lines also in it i don't think we have enough time for now but this is what it is this is my last painting on watercolor this is sea beach which i had drawn i was sitting in the beach this was done live this is again uh, lakshmi and this is patua painting a specialized painting which is done in kolkata by the uh, art, artisans of this thing so this is particular patua it is called patua painting it is done by uh, the normal colors and on uh, acrylic i am happy with pen and pen <laughs> whenever you give me a pen and pencil mm -hmm. i will be happy like this thank you so much finally i could at least show i'm sorry vidya ma'am it took so much of time and uh, this thing but at least no worries uh, we got enough time for audience to interact so no no regrets at all uh, uh, uh shri vidya i hope you are uh, finally ready i'll stop uh, sharing namrata you need to stop, yeah, stop. yeah yeah stop sharing let me try i hope i get it right this time 
you got to click the thing at the bottom nothing else. yeah 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 let me uh, let me get all the clicks right first so um she is not stopped sharing yet yeah so. but how do i stop this is there is a stop sharing button the same uh, the same place you click share uh, start enna prachana ba edhu phone panna sure I love the acrylic concepts you have, Doctor uh, Number Three. It's really Thanks. very beautiful. And I oh. can't find anything. I think I'll log out and then log come in back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah there you fine. go. Okay, let uh, me. Shri Vidya, uh, yes. I hope your issues are sorted. I let me try. Um, okay, first share. Then I have to do from the beginning. Oh no, no, wait. Let me. Sorry. Are you able to see my full slide? And you have clicked the grid, yeah. so you are still on the grid only. From from what I can yeah, see, my, for some reason my that is not going into my. Uh, go 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 to re, uh, after review. There is a view, you know. Go press the view. No, the slide show thing. Oh, no, no. okay. No, no. Now double click on anyone. One. Double click on anyone. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. now go to from beginning. beginning beginning yeah right okay are we okay hello i am just waiting no no it should happen instantaneously it's not you you okay are then you to... uh, your thank you slide is showing now but uh, oh. you need to yeah your thank oh, you oh i'm sorry uh, just one second because i am able to see oh my god i don't know something is not right not with right. my now you can click the first slide Double click the first slide. Double click the first slide. It will automatically go. Yeah, it will sure. start automatically then. No, no, no. Hold. Uh, no, no, no. We have a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, please go ahead and uh, don't stop your efforts. I'm just trying to fill the gap, as I said. Uh, doctor uh, uh, Kalavati from uh, Sims Hospital, what are you logged in? Doctor. Can Kalavati, I? Can you see now? To, no, you have to start sharing your screen first. <clears throat> you are not sharing your screen anymore. Oh, okay. Uh, Dr. Kalavati, if you're still there, we'd like to hear from you. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am, I'm here. Been watching the whole uh, program. Yeah. So, so, would you like to say something? Um. Yeah. Thank you for uh, calling out. uh it's been actually mesmerizing to hear each one's uh, journey and um, to see paintings and uh, sketches um so if uh, one of them is uh, ready i i think there she's waiting yeah, for a right time. ahead uh, it's okay uh, shri vidya you, you, even this is fine if this yeah. is okay now uh, if yeah, your yeah. screen is not yeah. working even this is fine okay yes. right yeah okay let's take one please, more please. attempt at full screen otherwise just leave it this no way. i don't think because it's kind of going in circles right. yeah, you go go right. as page 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 up and page down keep on doing it that's enough that's all yeah yeah right yeah yeah i think something is wrong with my system laptop i think it's some so right okay so quickly Mr. i think Murphy. yeah we can you hear me yes yeah so my journey is very simple of uh, uh for 25 almost 25 30 years i totally forgot that uh, i had art in me totally totally one of my friends son joined mbbs in srmc and he calls me one day and says aunty i cannot do this lower limb anatomy diagrams at all i said it's not a big deal i will do it for you so i didn't realize it that from the time we did mbbs till now in 2018 now it has become all color pencils sketch pens and all so i came back loaded with one big uh journal sketch pens pencils and all and then i started i did some 27 sketches for him and he is looking at it and saying nobody will believe that i have done this and then i realized that why did i stop painting and sketching for 25 years and all my children's art project and all i have done but i never did it as if then i just went ahead and bought a sketchbook and and then it just started and like it's never ended till now so these are my the first initial sketches which i did and i just wanted to get the feel of what i can do and i'm i'm this very very quickly i'm going to go through it my journey is very so then 
I started with some watercolor basics because I realized that I needed to learn how to do it again. Very, very, the, the concept that watercolor has to be transparent. It cannot be like acrylic. It cannot be thick. It, it took me an almost a year to get, understand watercolor and befriend it. Otherwise, like we discussed, it's a very, very unforgiving medium. It does not let you make mistake. One mistake, you have to do it all over again, right from the sketch, right from the, uh, the, 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 the shades and things like that. And also let's not, I mean, I'm not going technical. These are some of my very, very initial paintings. This is, I just tried to make a collage uh, because- uh, it's Sorry to interrupt, uh, Sri Vidya. You're still on uh, your first slide. We are not seeing anything. Oh, you're, you're not seeing, able to see yeah, anything? Yeah, only my journey in art has been changed. So uh, uh, just oh. uh, uh, change your slide. Go to next I slide. I am changing that. I can change. I'm seeing the change here, but how come you are not able to see? I don't think my, I think my sharing is not working because I can see the sharing. Uh, we can only know. see your first slide, which is my journey in art. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. Uh, I think I will, I don't, I don't think it is working. Uh, or for some reason, let me just try one last time. Because it's not. The journey is not taking us. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mean, journey is not beginning. Yeah. Can you see the yeah, PowerPoint okay. now? Just press the next slide now. I can see my journey in art. Now just press for next slide. Uh, yeah. Now? Yes. Yeah. 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 So. We are seeing new beginnings. Yes. Yes. So yeah. these are my initial sketches. I had a friend called Bidisha. Uh, she is in Bombay and she's a school teacher, but art is again her passion and she's kind of evolved over a period of time. So she used to kind of guide me over the time, talk over the phone somewhere. Then these are my initial watercolor uh, paintings. Um, some of my very, very, very basic watercolor paintings. and. This is my first acrylic I uh, did. It's a huge one uh, because I realized that acrylic is very, very friendly. The only thing which we have to remember with acrylic is that it dries very fast and we need to move very, very fast when you cannot use too much of water. So the whole play with shadows and I bought a canvas and I must have done some 10 layers on it to realize that I need to have the shadows behind it and all. So this is my... This is another black and white experiment I did with a, with a wolf, save the wolf uh, concept at uh, Yosemite, which they were doing. And I just picked it out of Pinterest. Just wanted to see how it goes. I love the expression. This is one of the original pictures taken by a very, very well-known uh, photographer called Mithun in Kabini. I had to take permission from him to draw this. This is a original Tusker from there. And it's a huge acrylic which I did using some technique called as a bold technique in which we don't use brushes we use these uh, knives to do you know random colors and there is no skin tone used in these basically so the very totally different experience doing this particular painting this is a Van Gogh takeoff I think pretty much every uh, artist wants to ape the master somewhere and this is one of my attempt at doing van gogh's vase verse in the windowsill i don't know whether the other artists have tried this but i am always very fascinated by flowers and uh, looking out of a window uh, the dream part of it so i did this once this is a, a, a plain air painting which i did in Netherlands, my daughter is there and this is a very, very small wooded part of Utrecht. It's, it's again a very huge painting, but I tried to complete it there. It's almost six by four feet and uh, it hangs in one of my daughter's friend's house. And this is a very, uh, I mean, I, I stood there, it took me around eight hours to finish this. This is my first experiment with uh, watercolor being part of a group called Saturnalia, a group called Wet Palette, which I uh, told you about. And uh, uh, my mentor, curated by my mentor, Sunil Linus, it happens every year in Chitrakala Parishad in Bangalore. And this was my first watercolor painting, which I exhibited. It's a Kailashnada temple at Kanjipuram. 
original picture is taken by another photographer friend of mine amar ramesh and this again took me almost two days to do it and i think we had to go i had to i must have done some five times to get this one which went on the exhibition this is my picture at the exhibition i don't have too many this is my uh, passion which is the other passion uh, is trekking this is mardi himal i actually wanted to add a reference picture of this particular it's beautiful you can see the peaks of uh, fish tail mountain in the background one of the most difficult mountains nobody climbs anybody who has attempted it has never come back but this is a pre summiting which we did uh, i think i did around 2 years back beautiful trek i mean lovely wild orchard way and uh, i have i have i must have painted some 10 uh, plein air painting on the trek itself doing all the small small uh, flowers but it was so exhilarating to do the whole uh, journey together this is uh, another painting which went on the next exhibition uh, at uh, ckp bangalore this is a swan which is again i think europe is full of these swans wherever you go in these canals you will find this is in amsterdam most of these pictures are taken by me and i so that we don't have any copyright issues when so, i paint my own pictures this is my last slide i like i told you this is a fish tail mountain um, this is one of my acrylics and uh, i have a box full of these things to share but i thought i will limited to my minimum journey and uh, uh, you know because uh, it is all about sharing right now and uh, thank you so much yeah uh, thank you vidya and like uh, maya mentioned in the beginning uh, the painting teaches you patience so uh, we 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 were patient and we persevered and we finally got everyone's uh, uh, screenshot <laughs> uh, and uh, um, uh, yeah, uh, ravina will do a slight modification you go ahead and share your screen let it go probably you may not be able to do the commentary that you intended but uh, we'd love to see the rest of your work as well as uh, we finish the chit chat with everyone because we've already exceeded time but because there's been so much interest i i thought uh, after a long time we are going to be hitting 10 o'clock uh, for uh, marvelous medicine so uh, along with um, um uh, uh, if uh, my uh, i mentioned that uh, sanjay rora my uh, batchmate is, was also logged into the meeting i don't know whether he's still there sanjay if you're still there we'd like to hear from you Uh, you can um, ravina you are trying to share right yeah yeah i'll share now okay well yeah, sanjay is not here vidya yeah. okay i'll share ma'am uh, yeah so uh, radha krishna uh, uh, your colleagues from sims were there are they still there yes madam Ah, uh, please go ahead. Uh, we can watch and hear at the same time. You have something to say, Salavati? Ah, uh, okay. yes. Oh, you you mean me, ma'am? No, no. Shall your I? pictures will be on the background. Uh, the others oh. will talk so that we yeah, can, yeah, yeah. we don't have fine. time. We need to do both together. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yes, Salavati, you would you like to share something? Um. Ah, uh, yes, madam. Um. but i i'm not uh, ready with the presentation no no i just i mean your thoughts your uh, reaction to what's happened your any comments suggestions whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. it's lovely uh, to see people uh, take time and uh, as the initial speakers had told it amazes that they take every day one hour in the morning my time is in the night after 11 pm it starts it goes on up to 130 or 2 pm um yeah so uh, it it is uh, it is a passion and uh, it wow, once i start i just get engrossed so probably in a next session um, and uh, dr aparna is also there from sims hospital and uh, she is also a excellent uh, artist so next time any session is there we can showcase our paintings um, uh, dr aparna yeah. we'd like to hear from you yeah um, 
Hi, good evening, everybody. Dr. Aparna here from SIMS. So basically, I'm an ophthalmologist, oculoplastic surgeon, uh, practicing at SIMS. And my journey into um, art started since childhood. I was almost uh, driven into art. And uh, what inspires me is um, everything, everywhere, basically, whatever I see. Um, you know, art is uh, art. According to me, is everywhere, and it just takes a minute of your time to uh, imbibe that emotion, that feeling, that substance of art. Um, so I have um, had a formal training in art. I have done my bachelor in fine arts uh, from 2016 to 2019. Um, and I, I, I personally believe that anybody and everybody can create something unusual, something very unique. But if you understand the science of art, I think it helps us appreciate art much better. That is what I feel, I personally feel. So if uh, all of us here, whenever we get a chance, to attend workshops or any kind of training, I think that really changes the perspective of how we look at an, a creation. A creation. So, um, I mean, the the art of drawing, you know, flowers absolutely changes once you learn about tones, shades, lights, texture, the layering. And uh, I was fortunate enough to get a formal training. Um, and I'm like, I'm planning to do my master's if time permits, but uh, I think my, my main um, medium is acrylic and I do a lot of palette work. Uh, and I have done a little bit of research also in uh, cubism, which is, uh, which was like a post impressionist uh, technique of art. Um, so these are my, I mean, th that is basically my style. Um, contemporary abstract is my style. So maybe I can share some of my works later. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Aparna. Dr. Venkish, we got cut off uh, when uh, you were about to speak that time we got interrupted. So uh, thank you for sharing some of your works uh, on the chat box. Uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, we'd like to hear from you. And one Ravina is through maybe... Uh, you could even share the screen if you have time. Some of them uh, are amazing. The work he's shared on the chat is really good. I wish <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I I started painting uh, every time I used to come home, uh, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. After that, I don't have any attention. And watercolor is my chosen medium. So uh, I used to challenge myself one painting a day for 100 days. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> details shows, details shows. Aparna, we would yeah. really like to see your painting also, especially on uh, cubism and all. It is really amazing that yeah. you managed to take a formal uh, training and uh, planning to do a master's too. That was really inspiring. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. We would yeah, really like to see your painting next time. Yeah, you know, I wonder why, uh, what has anesthesia got to do with art? Why? But for Aparna, everybody else in anesthetist, is it that? Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. It's just the that I know. It's, common, it's a common factor. Because of common <laughs> factor, that is A. A is <laughs> anesthesiologist and A is for artist. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But, so because but of I... our Facebook page, uh, our Facebook group and uh, our conferences and all that. And, uh, you know, I met uh, Maya in uh, Coimbatore when we went to attend GARC, uh, we both were, uh, you know, felicitated by Dr. Uh, Bala Venkat and his team. So that's where I saw, I met Chetna and I saw their paintings and everything. But uh, as you can see, even having four people, we have really overshot time. So I just, uh, you know, uh, I, I know there'll be, uh, in fact, uh, Learning Gen Surgery uh, member uh, Aparna uh, is, uh, was also on my initial list but she's away in thailand in on uh, attending some bariatric conference so she said she can't make it and uh, i couldn't find i don't know it was sutapa day or someone who used to post a lot of paintings on uh, learning gel surgery but in <clears> recent <throat> times i haven't seen him and somehow the, I, as i'm talking to you i remembered his name but i couldn't remember when i wanted it so Ap aparna is my junior from college 
Ah, I, I'm I, I'm happy that you just brought out that anesthetist because the general response for our previous sessions where we had women was why only women? So it's not, no no gender no nothing. It just happened, and then I thought actually for women it's probably more difficult to take time out to do other stuff. Uh, managing home and work is bad enough. And one more thing is so I thought it will inspire uh, the youngsters, men, women, old, young, everyone that you know. It's uh, maybe tomorrow I might put pen to paper, which I might hide uh, or tear it up and throw it in the dustbin. Uh, but uh, I'll try. <laughs> yes, Chetna. Your doesn't take up. much time actually, and it is very, very calming. It doesn't take time for someone like yeah. you. For me, uh, it, it, it will take forever. Second thing, uh, <laughs> second thing I want to know is, I mean, is it done in uh, you know bits and pieces? Because you know, completing one painting right. over one night is not easy. It's like writing a book over a month or so. Is it done that way? These paintings that you do something today, add something more. There are there are two school of thoughts about, especially with watercolor. There are some people who say that if you start that, you need to finish it in one shot. Otherwise, you cannot. Uh, you know, you will miss out or things like that. So. There are people who I stopped doing painting in the night because I realized that I'm not sleeping at all because you don't want to sleep till you are finished with what you have in your hand. That's why I wake up in the morning I, and do it. I agree to that. You yeah. don't want to. You don't want to stop. And so I, I so I stopped time. painting in the night and I said, okay, let me have an early. I'm not growing any younger. And uh, the other school of thought is that uh, watercolor painting. Can also be done in gradation, and I'm sure Dr. Maya agrees that we have ways of drying it, go very light, and then go layers and wait. And especially when you wait, you know, you get the impact of the color, and you are able to actually make some small correction if needed or add more colors. But once you have added more colors, especially in watercolor, it's very difficult to go back. Acrylic. Yeah. Your own oh, everything everything uh, requires less. Uh, Every, uh, I would say watercolor is very uh, user friendly for us because if you paint once, maybe you give one layer or two layer or first wash, second wash, you can wait because wait. there is a time. Then uh, for this third wash, fourth wash, you can again uh, work on it maybe in the evening or maybe next day. Correct. So many a times what happens, I do three, four paintings. I give first wash, second wash in the morning. And maybe in the evening or next day, I do some other detailing, detail work. So that can be done, and that is possible in watercolor. Maybe I don't know about possible other in media. Acrylic also, it's possible in acrylic. In fact, all medias re require many layers, and otherwise, it will not. The colors won't come out. The impact. Either yeah. with the depth or the changes. Yeah. All kind of media yeah. requires layers. At least it's I think it is for each each media. It is very individualized. The only thing is advantage about watercolor is that you can leave it on your palette and you can go back, put water and yes. reuse it, which you cannot yes. do with the uh, acrylic unless, unless you are using a wet palette, unless you are using a wet palette technique, which you can keep the acrylic paint for six to eight weeks but also. You need, to, you need layers in every painting, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chetna has her hand yes, up. Uh, Chetna, uh, uh, you wanted to say something? And mainly the space required is very less. You can do on dining table or maybe in one corner of your house. Uh, canvas you can set up your studio and canvas you can do it. For space. acrylic or maybe oil, it is little oil. bit messy. That's what I feel. I don't know about it. Basically, oil, takes but I have months, oil. oil takes months to complete for yeah. each layer to mm -hmm. dry and dry. Then it takes months. But, layer layer has to dry. Dry. but the effect is fantastic. For do you us. spend the weekends drawing or you take yeah. holidays or days off to finish up a painting? So, someday, sometime I, I plead migraine and then don't go to work. <laughs> uh, one minute, please. Uh, Chetna has her hand up. Chetna, yes. what did you want to say? Um, Next, Pune-Ndo. Yes. Uh, in my Mrs. Universe pageant, which was held in Guangzhou, China, we had to do a presentation on domestic violence. So my presentation was a totally unique one because it was not a regular presentation. My entire presentation was based on digital art paintings. The story revolved around my digital art paintings, the entire presentation of domestic violence, what happens. So it was a totally unique presentation and replying to Sir, like recently when I had done up the uh, art exhibition, I completed that painting in just few hours. I had, we had to submit four paintings. I had only three paintings ready. The fourth one was just not ready. 
I did a few hours in the morning, and the rest I completed in two hours in the night. So it depends. Uh, whenever you get the time between patients and calls, we can always do it. And yes, as Ma'am said, acrylic dries up fast. So we have to really know when we want to give those uh, shadings and how to go about it. So we can complete one portion of that shading, uh, like the face or the hand, something, and then we can go on to the other part. That way, we can do it. Unnam, do you add your hand up? Uh, no, no. I just wanted to say hi to Namrata. We worked together for a very long time. I think she started painting after that. Did not know that she was painting so well that time. And the other thing is, uh, I joined a little late. Uh, this is nothing. Uh, uh, people who want to start should watch Bob Ross. I don't know how many people have oh, watched. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We all have. We all have. <laughs> but he is an so, oil paint. He's an oil paint person. Yeah. Yeah. The, reason, the, reason, the reason I said about Bob Ross is that he is such a good orator while he paints. He is such a beautiful inspiration. You know, like anybody would love to start painting. And when we talked about layers, I haven't learned digital. My daughter does digital painting. And the advantage is you can put layers and you can go back, remove layers and add more layers. And it's very easy to draw the reflections. If you're drawing a beautiful palace next to a lake, if you paint that in digitally the lake, and you can reflect the negative of the top into the bottom part. So maybe it will be nice if somebody talks about digital painting sometime, because now a lot of people are painting on iPad. I have started, but it's like very nascent. I am, like I am very old thing fashioned. I no, I do. <laughs> I do, but it is like very nascent. So I got it. Yeah, it's should, not in. I'm not should, going to be shared. You should see some great paintings on uh, Alaska, which are done on digital painting. Digital looks painting so realistic looks, yeah. that the painting digitally actually looks nearly as good as, as a photograph. Yeah, but that it's, is the advantage of digitalization. No, we cannot. Oh, it is like uh, it is no, a difference I between I the later. Uh, uh, let's. Uh, I'm let's sorry. Uh, yeah. One per, one person at, at a time, please. If you don't mind, just put up your hand. Otherwise, we are having too much of cross talk. Yes, Ramesh. Yeah, I have a different take, uh, Doctor, on uh, on uh, digital painting because it doesn't challenge your mind. Mm -hmm. It it doesn't challenge your creativity. Most of the job is done by the system. And uh, there is nothing so, because I paint in all the mediums, oil, acrylic, uh, watercolor, poster colors also, which is quite famous in India yeah. and nowhere yeah. abroad. Yes. I tried yeah. digital. It is not at all a challenge. It doesn't give me the kick of being an artist. That's why I left it. So that's my take, but I do appreciate it comes out well is because the system does it well more than our brains. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, one minute, please. Chetna would like to show her painting on domestic violence. Is that it, Chetna? You can all uh, put a view. You you speak something so that we can put speaker uh, view and see the painting, Chetna. Otherwise, it'll be very small. So Everyone can is... use speaker view, and uh, Chetna, if you speak, then we you'll be on the screen and we can see you. Uh, I'll just share it just like that, ma'am. This yeah. is the painting. Can uh... see it, yeah. No, yeah. Chetna, if you this don't the talk, the minute. Uh, Chetna, you please continue to speak because otherwise other people... Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Place. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 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 Okay. So this is a painting of a female, uh, dowry burning, hashtag dowry burning. And uh, you can see the female, how the how she, her condition and the uh, male person staring behind her the and the flames you can see below. So this is basically showing the dowry burning and uh, the basic uh, most important reason of uh, domestic violence in India. So this was a main painting which I had presented on uh, in uh, Mrs. Universe pageant. Thank you, Chetna. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know who I cut off, but uh, Sri Vidya, you go. Yeah, uh, Ravina, have you checked out uh, Dina Brodsky on Insta? She does all these book book work, the wall like you are doing. It's very beautiful. Check it out. Oh, Dina sure, Brodsky. sure. Yeah, there's so many handles out there in Instagram and this Facebook. One, she yeah. does use uh, she uses uh, invisible ink uh, with uh, and watercolor for on the books. Very very oh. classic. 
Yeah, I'm, amazing work she does it. So yeah, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll do please. check. Out I'll now. send you that. I'll send you the link. I, yeah, 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 yeah please. Doctor, actually, Dr. Maya, I, I think I interrupted you while you were trying. Yeah, to actually, I wanted to tell ki uh, regarding the painting, what you are doing with your skills and the talent and the digital painting. The difference is like when uh, you used to receive the letter which is written from the heart, and now you are receiving the mail. So the difference is like that. So I find uh, the digital painting, uh, as uh, one of the doctor has said, ki it is a technical issue, basically technical uh, skills. It is not your skill and it, has, it doesn't originate from your heart. Basically, the painting should originate from the heart. The passion should originate from the heart. Then only it is really appealing to the viewers. And it gets connected with the society. Why I like watercolor paintings? Because we see trees, leaves in the nature and we get connected easily with the nature. So that is the basic funda of uh, maybe the painting or any art. You should get connected. I don't know about the uh, digital painting. I don't find any interest. Maybe in future, uh, the gen future generation will be of digital painting only. Let's see. My actually it is equally creative. It doesn't mean that it is not creative and you can do it uh, on your free hand as, as well as layers. It is not technical. It is, uh, yeah, it, uh, software is required, but it is not technical. You need a lot of creativity even in that. So yeah. it's a different media. It's just a different media. That's yes, yes. Maybe different views. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Suchitra has been logged in right from the beginning and uh, she declared uh, early in the morning. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to be joining. So Suchitra, did the program turn out as you expected or uh, would you have uh, any suggestions you have to make it better? Uh, Suchitra, are you still there? There, she just messaged. Even Dr. Manisha was there. If she ah, wants yes. to say something yes. about art, then, Dr. Manisha uh, Katigar was there. Hello, I think, uh, yes, Suchitra. Yes. Yeah, hello, Vidya. It's a beautiful program. Actually, I love art in any form. So actually, I was very much interested in logging in. And uh, it turned out to be very beautiful. All the panelists were excellent. And uh, the others also, actually, I don't know them, but most of the people, uh, they were very passionate about their art. And it's fantastic. Hi, Sujitra. Uh, uh, Radha Krishna, <laughs> as usual, you had written a... Uh, Thank you, Sujitra, uh, madam. Uh, Thank you. Uh, introduction. Hey, Manisha yeah. was there. Manisha, Dr. Manisha, Manisha has left. Uh, Dr. Manisha has left. Uh, I think okay, we, okay. We, we, really only the hardcore people will be there now. It's past 10. So, uh, uh, Radha Krishna, <laughs> you always write a, uh, you write an introduction to the program on learning general surgery every week. And uh, I, I must confess, today I was a tad disappointed. So, uh, after listening to this, if you had to re-say re what you were trying to say in the morning, what would you, what no, would you no, say? No. You see, that is my way of writing. <laughs> way of writing... Uh, and to get people attracted to this, you know, uh, is so By the way, just sorry, one more <coughs> The tagline Art Attack was made by Radha Krishna. All the posters for all the sessions of Marvelous Medicine are created by him. He don't have any other text. So that's his art. So he's telling, I don't think I put pen to paper. I don't draw. I don't write. He writes every day. And the very fact that he makes, this is digital art, like in a way, you know, the what he makes for the posters every time, because there's always a background, the way he arranges the photographs, the taglines, everything is his. So Art Attack really caught the eyeballs. And uh, only credit I will take is that I rejected his first draft because it was not at all him. It was so lame. Because always his taglines are catchy. And I, I said, uh, so then within uh, an hour or so, I had, Art attack, and then I said, Yes, now we have it. So, yes, yes, even yes, it, go ahead, I liked uh, go ahead, it. Krishna, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, no, see, it's just uh, you know, bringing people's attention to this subject actually. This is a very unusual uh, sort of a title, unusual terminology, uh, unusual uh, uh, program, I should say. And like, I know, see, the, the person. I mean, uh, who adds uh, uh, the color to the entire thing is Vidya herself, you know. <laughs> That's why I wore orange today. <laughs> That's me adding color. <laughs> Seriously, and actually, if you see Vidya today, I mean, in 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 cows, there is some order actually. If people speaking across, the how art is, and if you see the four artists, so very different in their art forms. Actually, you know, th their approach is different, and it's so so refreshing. 
And actually, frankly, I think all medicos will have some art talent in them. It's just, it's not woken up or whatever. <laughs> I'm sure uh, today's program should at least uh, wake up some of us <laughs> sleeping. I think you should have more of these. And as somebody was saying, more painters should come in. We don't know, actually. Frankly, when I put up in our, my group, Dr. Kalavati and Dr. Uh, our ophthalmologist, they came in. And then that's why I realized that there are, uh, you know, artists in every institution, every specialty every group and I think we need to bring them again together in one at another program of this nature. It's wonderful. It's a lovely evening, I should say. We've been going on for two and a half hours now. Yeah. <laughs> and now many people are inspired and they are doing art exhibition in their conferences. So this yeah. is so yeah. wondrous. Yeah. Yes. I will be in Pune, ma'am, end of June. I'll meet you. Yeah, you must take uh, Ravina along and we both can visit the gallery. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would <laughs> yes, definitely. Vidya, yeah. let us, let us, being in Chennai, let us meet first. Yeah, yeah, the absolutely. phone, so Ravina, please come out of your Muthukumaran hospital and come yeah. here. Yeah. We will like, catch uh -huh. up. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, Jetna, definitely. you wanted to say something? Uh -huh. uh, Naveen sir, I've shared the link of ISA Art and Literary Club WhatsApp. Yeah, group. yeah. Yeah. So yeah. anybody who wishes to join can please join the group. Uh, yes. Yeah, you need to be an anesthetist to do that. So, <laughs> so uh, but I'm sure IMA has a similar. Yes, thing sir is telling that IMA also got inspired by ISA and they have started doing painting competition, painting exhibitions. So it is really a great thing, and we all doctors should uh, have some or the other passion to relieve our stress. Because our profession, being a doctor, may it be anesthesiologist or surgeon or whatever, we uh, definitely face all this stress and we should relieve our stress and we should meditate uh, in a day, at least for one hour, half an hour by doing this art. Art as meditation, I like that because I can never really meditate. So, uh, uh, Ravi, yes. uh, yeah. uh, uh, your hands up, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I was just wondering if, uh, you know, um, learning general surgery could have a, a gallery where people can, um, you know, put up their paintings and a little write up about uh, not it. Not for you. And uh, uh, piggybacking on that, Radha Krishna, you must, uh, we must do another uh, all male uh, artist uh, thing and yeah. you can, uh, you can, uh, be, you can be the moderator for that. Please call us to give special uh, comments. Comment. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, meaning uh, it may be a totally different perspective or uh, like uh, the English uh, seem to think the same way as most uh, most of the people here. But hey, we'd like to have, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to try and find Sutapade. I don't know whether it's a man or a woman, but I must trace that person in LGS. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, gallery on uh, uh, Anesthetist Facebook page and gallery on uh, 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 LGS Facebook page is something we should uh, do soon. So thank you everybody for, uh, um, you know, putting up with all our technical glitches and being, yeah, uh, it was sorry. such an interactive session and um, sorry if we exceeded time, but um, uh, everyone was having a good time. Yes, Chetna. Ma'am, your background color and your dress code color is matching with mine. <laughs> <laughs> Blue and orange, yes. Uh, so we, we'll have uh, more of these people. Uh, I'm, uh, as you saw while they were talking, there are uh, more facets to uh, all these four people here other than just uh, art. So uh, in future, we'll uh, bring them on board for you to for them to share their um uh, like um, uh, we, I'm really looking forward to listening to Maya's trip to both Arctic and Antarctic. Uh, so something like that. Uh, we have much more exciting stuff coming up once every month uh, as Beyond Medicine in our Marvelous Medicine series. But uh, next week it will be back to serious stuff. And uh, so we'll meet you again uh, next week with another episode of Marvelous Medicine, uh, which will be on pedagogy. Uh, till then, take care and stay safe. Thank, nice. you, thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you, so thank you, thank you so right. much. Thank you. And thank it you. was uh, really wonderful to interact with Sri Vidya, Chaitna, Ravina, thank uh, you, sir, thank and you. Uh, Namrata. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, ma'am.